Okay, so this is a 2005 Chevy Impala. Uh, 3400, 34, with 6 V6. Um, daughter came to me saying that it's overheating, don't have no heat. She didn't tell me until like two months later. Whatever. Anyways, I finally get my hands on it. Change thermostat. Uh, someone told her it was a head gasket. It's not a head gasket. I uh, changed thermostat. Thermostat was pretty much uh, nasty. What may I say? Hold on. Uh, pretty nasty looking. It was corroded. I cleaned it up a little bit, but yeah, pretty nasty. Uh, I put a new one in it. Uh, didn't overheat right away. Then all of a sudden it started overheating again on her. I'm like, all right, well, what's skinny here? Well, lo and behold, yeah, a vapor lock. Been going on for a while. Seven millimeter, right here. Just kind of get it warm, go back and forth. You know, you gotta get to get the air out. The air starts pissing out. So you wanna start seeing fluid, you start seeing fluid coming out. And you close her off. You want the same on both sides. I've done went down the road a few different times. But the vapor lock's still in there. Obviously how it's spitting eyeball, eyeball, eyeball. It's not continuous. Well that's the issue. Alright, well, heavy heat going. She's got heat now. I was doing about 105 down the road. I got a little side road, I can do a little straight shot on it, get it nice and warm. Didn't overheat on me, but I lost my heat heat. So that tells me there's still a vapor lock involved. So what I did, come back to the house here, um, and now I'm back to vapor, getting that vapor lock out. So if your car is overheating, it's not always a water pump. Usually water pump goes out, you start seeing fluid running down. Um, there's no fluid at all, whatsoever leaking down there, obviously. Um, it's there, if you can see it, let me put that there, right here, very top screw, Ten, a seven millimeter, and right there, seven millimeter. That's for your water pump, that's for your thermostat. You can't just do one side, you gotta do both sides. Thing is, you just gotta go back and forth, you gotta get the air out. It's gonna take some time. But now she's starting to get heat and she's not overheating no more. Uh, but I still don't have all the vapor lock out. So right now she's still registering. Oh, uh, what is she? 180 ish right there? Yeah. So she's not hot, hot, but she's still not where I wanted it at. See how it keeps going up? They went up a little bit more there. Still a vapor lock going on. But that's what I'd say. When you're overheating, change thermostat. If you don't have no oil and antifreeze mixing and you don't have no leak then obviously you have a vapor lock so future reference people don't realize it instead of going to a oh, mechanic shop and they charge you so much money to do the same thing you can do by yourself it's just a seven millimeter man get it warm let it get hot make sure you got antifreeze or water when it's summertime vice versa however you want to do it just don't ever use cold water on a hot engine, so have a good day.